He is known for being an Irish composer and arranger of Irish traditional music, and he is recognized for his incorporation of modern and traditional techniques in his compositions. He became the single most influential figure in the revival of Irish traditional music during the 1960s. His name is Sean O'Riada. In the world of Irish traditional music, one name stands above all others, Sean O'Riada, composer and arranger who played a pivotal role in the revival of this cherished musical tradition during the 1960s. Blending modern and traditional techniques, O'Riada's influence was unparalleled. O'Riada's journey began as a music director at Radio Aaron in 1954. His talent and passion for Irish music led him to the Abbey Theatre, where he worked from 1955 to 1962. But it was his time as a lecturer in music at University College Cork that truly solidified his legacy. Through his compositions, writings, and broadcasts, O'Riada became a household name in Ireland. One of O'Riada's notable achievements was his founding and direction of the ensemble C.L. Tuari Chualan. This group showcased the beauty and richness of Irish traditional music, captivating audiences with their performances. But O'Riada's influence extended beyond the traditional realm. He also made a name for himself in the classical tradition with compositions like Nomos No. 1, Hercules Dux Ferrerii, a piece that showcased his unique blend of modern and traditional techniques. However, it was O'Riada's film scores that truly propelled him to fame. His compositions for films like Mice Air and Saoirse brought Irish music to the forefront, captivating audiences both at home and abroad. His talent for capturing the essence of Irish culture through music was unparalleled. Tragically, O'Riada's life was cut short at the young age of 40, as he passed away in 1971. But his music and legacy live on. His Mass in Irish, which is still sung in churches in Irish-speaking regions of Ireland, is a testament to the enduring power of his compositions. Sean O'Riada's contributions to Irish music will forever be remembered, as he remains a legendary figure in the realm of traditional and classical music. In the early 1960s, Sean O'Riada embarked on a musical journey that would revolutionize the Irish traditional music scene. Leading the group C.L. Tuari Chualan from 1961 to 1969, O'Riada sought to create a unique musical experience that honored the roots of traditional Irish songs and tunes. Unlike other bands of the time, C.L. Tuari Chualan dressed in the formal attire of black suits, white shirts, and black bow ties, bringing a sense of elegance to their performances. Hashtag continue hashtag while other bands competed for attention with flashy performances, C.L. Tuari Chualan took a different approach. Their arrangements were sparse and lucid, allowing the beauty of the traditional melodies to shine through. At the forefront of the group, O'Riada played the harpsichord and a bowron, a handheld frame drum. The bowron was an almost forgotten instrument, only played by young boys in street parades. By incorporating it into the band's sound, O'Riada revived its significance in Irish music. Hashtag continue hashtag O'Riada had a vision of including the Clarsac, or wire strung harp, in the band's lineup. However, as these harps were not readily available at the time, he turned to the harpsichord as a substitute. In his opinion, the harpsichord offered the closest sound to the Clarsac. The harpsichord he regularly played was crafted by Cathal Gannon, a renowned instrument maker. Through this unique combination of instruments, C.L. Tuari Chualan brought a fresh and captivating sound to the traditional music landscape. Hashtag continue hashtag for many people in Ireland, this was their first introduction to Irish folk music played by a band. Unbeknownst to O'Riada, a similar style of ensemble playing was already happening in London pubs. Nonetheless, C.L. Tuari Chualan's performances captivated audiences and sparked a newfound appreciation for traditional Irish music. The band recorded the soundtrack for the film, Playboy of the Western World, in 1962, showcasing their talent and further solidifying their place in Irish music history. Their final public performance took place in 1969, and their album was subsequently titled, O Riada Sa Gaiety. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.